12 News, your local election headquarters with new reaction to last night's historic primary results in Rhode Island. 12 News Politics Editor Ted Nisi caught up with Democratic nominee Gabe Amo as he thanks supporters for their help in defeating 10 rivals. Ted joins us now live in studio with what Amo had to say. Ted? Well, Kim Kayla, Gabe Amo spent much of the Democratic primary campaign in the shadows of Sabina Matos and Aaron Regenberg, but last night he won a surprisingly easy victory, carrying almost every city and town in the first congressional district. Now, Amo tells me he credits the hard work of his campaign staff, his volunteers and other supporters, and says he got more hopeful over the course of the day Tuesday that he might secure a victory. I had a feeling um, and I can't look, I can't say I had any uh, predictions that could be trusted. But when I was shaking hands outside of polling places yesterday and hearing the overwhelming support and optimism for the, for the future uh, that I could be part of for so many Rhode Islanders, that gave me some good feelings. Political analysts say Amo is the favorite in the November special election against Republican nominee Gary Leonard, who is a political newcomer, because the first district leans so heavily Democratic. Coming up new at 5, reaction from Governor Dan McKee after his own lieutenant governor came in fourth place. Ted Nisi, 12 News.